Now we're going to add an article from a web page into Zotero. As you can see in the upper right hand corner, for this article the icon is turned into a little newspaper because we're on the New York Times. I'm going to go ahead and click that newspaper and I'll see a notification saying that it's saving to my library. And back in my library, I can see my new item. Let's go to a different website. I went to nationalgeographic.com and when I select the article that I want to enter into Zotero, you can see the icon in the upper right corner has turned into a piece of paper, which indicates that it's one single article. And again, I just click it to add it. I get the notification that it's happening. And in a few moments, I see it appear in my library. When you're grabbing citations from web pages to enter into Zotero, Remember that it doesn't necessarily grab all of the information. For example, in this article, I see the author is Laura Parker. And when I select the item in my library, and I look at the data that was captured in the window on the right, it does not have an author listed. So know that you can click in there and add information to make your citation complete.